when you were out there chasing 30, 40 foot waves out on your own, the, the challenges must have been extraordinary. When you look back over that three months you were out there, what were the biggest of those challenges? That first storm that I, that I got um, into about 300 miles off the Canary Islands, uh, the, where the sea state went to sort of six to eight meter waves, which is sort of three story buildings. The wind went to 40 to 50 knots, which is just one down from a hurricane. I'm in a craft that's got a freeboard of about that much off the ocean. I'm in the middle of nowhere. And then the lights go out at night. And then every single wave that it used to hit was hitting me sideways would sort of semi invert me. And it would sound so loud and violent that it it sounded like the craft was disintegrating there around me. And um, yeah, just the mental fatigue of getting through the night when you never really had more than between five and eight minutes sleep before another wave would hit you and semi-invert you was quite terrifying just to be able to get through until the morning. I think that night, um, I had a really rough night that night, clearly. Um, I had a really paddle the equivalent of a full Ironman that day. I was physically and mentally drained and just getting through to the next morning and I, by three o'clock in the morning my craft started getting pulled through the top of eight meter waves and it felt like I was getting pulled down and I worked out by going through all the different elements of what was actually happening that I'd either got a, a whale or a giant squid stuck in my parachute anchor that was trying to take me and the craft with a buoyancy ratio of over two tons down to the bottom and I had to get into all my into my gear and safety gear jump over the side and cut cut the line off and then three hours later I had I almost got my finger ripped off when it got stuck in between one of the lines when I was trying to release the tagline and I think that like 12 hour period just became quite terrifying and then getting through that I think made me realize that if I could get through that then I could pretty much get through anything.